Let's draw some animals with Miss Samantha. Okay, we are going to draw four small pictures of some animals. Um, but first, we need to divide our piece of paper into four parts, four small pieces of paper to draw the animals. So go ahead and do that. So if you get your paper, big size, normal paper, we're gonna fold it into fourths. So you gotta fold it into this half first, fold it over, this it, and then take it, and you're gonna fold it again, just like this. Okay, so that your paper's gonna have four parts. And of course you can cut and tear the paper to where it's individual ones. Like this. See, I got mine. Just like that. So now, the first animal we're going to draw is a chameleon. So you're going to take your first little piece of paper, and you might fold it again into fours, like we did with the other one. Fold it in half, and half again. So you have four small squares, just like this one because it kind of gives you an idea of how you can draw and where to stop so something's not like really big or something. Okay, so now to start off with our chameleon, we're gonna draw a head, which is like a, a fourth of a circle. So it's like in one little square. So you can come down like this. And then I'm gonna go across and kind of connect them like I did. Circle, or a little half, fourth circle, sorry. Now, time for the body. So, it's gonna go on this side. So you kinda come down a little bit. Gonna make another little curve. And then connect. That's how you can use that middle lane right there. Okay, next you're gonna have its feet. So you gotta give it like Back one, somewhere right here. The other front one, somewhere right here. Just like that. And now, we got, now you got the head. I use this little line. And then we connected the head, we had the body. Just like that. You wanna give it its little feet, its little legs. Now next, is the tail. Now, of course the tail will be over here. And the neat thing about this is you can make it as, you know, make it big and curly, or you can make a little curl, cause they have like a little, their tail can curl. So it's like, kinda like this. And down like that. See? And then, I'm gonna close it, of course. It doesn't have to be perfect. See, I kind of gave mine a little thin tail. <laughs> so, now, I need to make sure we give them an eye. So about right here. An eye, and then a little eye in there. Just like that. And now for the tail, or, sorry, the tongue. We had the tail. For the tongue, I'm going to go on the line again. A little tongue, and curl it, just like that. Okay, now, next, something you can do. This is up to you, it's your lizard, it's your chameleon. You can give it some little stripes. So, just like that. Okay. Keep going, you can do the body you can do the tail if you want to or not you don't have to you can see you get all the way around just like that now if you want to you can even do the head Let's see I'm gonna leave my head just like that though okay now after that we got you know, you can be done there if you want to, or if you want to, like, put some scenery, some background, 
maybe like a sitting on a branch or something. You can kind of draw branch just like right across this way. And you can put some like leaves on there if you want to, just like that. Another little leaf, could be a small one. You can do all sorts of leaves right there. If you want to, you can put a sun over here. And of course you can put the moon up if you want to. You can put whatever you want in there, just more leaves. And of course, once you're all done, you can kind of color your chameleon. You know, they're different colors, so you can always kind of color them and stuff. Or you can come back and color them, you know, later after we're done drawing all of our other animals. So, but that is our little chameleon drawing right there. Okay, our next animal we're going to draw is a little baby fox. So... Once again, you got your other piece of paper. Gonna fold it. I like to fold mine. It kind of helps me know where to start and all my little drawings and my lines. So, here we go. Now, we got our little piece of paper. Now, oh, to start the fox, you're gonna make like a, draw a large U, best you can. You wanna start up here and kind of stop down here. So, come right here. Let's see, lift our U. Let's see, mine kind of got off. And if you need to erase it, that's okay. It's no big, no big problem. So, there we go. That's better. Now, once we have our or you, that kind of is the beginning of the head. I'm going to make it to where there's two ears. So, I'm going to kind of pull it down like that. Come down like that. There's our ears. And then the top of his head. Just like that. So, now we have our fox's head. Now, in the middle right here, this is how you can use this little line. You want to put his nose like that. That's his cute little nose. See? Now, we're going to add um, some curved lines in their eyes. You know how sometimes they have that little white right there? So, we're going to kind of curve like that. I'll go on this other side. That's okay. I'll erase it just like that. Okay. Now we're gonna have his eyes. Kind of draw his eyes like right here. And get his other eye. Just like that. Okay. Now I'm gonna start drawing his little body. Kind of like his, you know, shoulders. About right here. Make a little curve, just like that. Okay, and then same over here, just like that. Of course, with this side, we're gonna continue all the way down. We're gonna come up to help make his tail, just like that. Okay. And then we're gonna kinda make it down. Curl just a little bit, and of course you can finish connecting just like that. So here's his tail, and of course they have like the little tip. A lot of times is white or some color, and so you can make a little zigzag for their tails. And there you go. And there's your little baby fox. And of course, like the chameleon, you can draw some background. Like you can always draw it. Him being in some grass, just like that. Of course, you can draw some clouds around him if you want to. 
outside playing. If you want to do it that way. Oh, I want to draw a little, maybe put a little flower right here. You know, just whatever you want to do. That's what's fun about drawing and art and all. You can do what you want to do. Okay. So, there is our little fox right there. Ain't he cute? Okay, our next animal is going to be a penguin. And I've already got my paper folded like that. So I kind of know where the middle of the paper is, remember. Okay. And start for a penguin. We're going to make... Um, kind of an upside down U for his head and you kind of want to have it in the center if you can but if not it's okay it does not have to be perfect it's one thing about art you can just be what you want it to be so we got that okay now we have the his head so upside down U now here's going to be his back so we're going to make his back long like that not quite all the way down, but you know. Kind of make him a tall penguin. Now from this part of his head, we're kind of going to make a little curve down like this. There. So this is kind of like the black part because you know how penguins have the black. It's all black. And then right here is going to be his belly, so to speak. Like that. Just like that. See? Now, I'm going to have his little flipper. Draw a flipper right here. Just like that. And up here, you can draw his eye. And his little beak. Kind of draw like a little thing. I'm going to put it a little underneath it, like that. See, there we go. Now, if you guys, so we got his little body. Got the part where his um, black back is going to be. His white stomach. His little flipper. His eyes. And his little beak. Now, for his feet, you can kind of come down here. And it's like you're making, you know how you kind of make shoes on people, maybe. Like that. Maybe one. And then here's the other one. It's kind of like he's walking or waddling. You know, they waddle. Okay. And so there you go. There's your penguin. And something you can do for like the back background is maybe put him on an iceberg or something because you know that's what penguins live in the cold and so kind of make like a little circle around him just like that and then you come about right here make the bottom of it just like that and then you can have like the water right here. You can make some waves. I should draw like a little fish. So I draw my fish. Make a line. Come around. Boop. There you go. See? Got some fish swimming in there. And then of course you can put stuff back here. Behind them in the background up top, you know, just however you want to do it. So, there's our penguin. Okay, our last animal we're going to draw is a sheep. And it's supposed to be kind of like a cartoon, funny looking sheep. So, we'll see how we do on that. Bet we can make it look pretty, pretty funny and silly. So, once again, I folded my paper like I did with the others. So once we have that, now we're gonna start with the sheep eyes. We'll start kind of over here. 
We want to make his eyes just like that. And there's another one. Make his all eyeballs like that. And then we're going to give him his little ears. One right there. And over here. And with his little face. Gonna come from this ear, come down, kind of like another U, not to that side. All right, now we're going to make his little nose, which is just a line right there, like that and that. Okay, now let's make his hair. Got big fluffy hair. You know how the sheep have their big fluffy hair. There we go. Now, let's give him his big fluffy body. I'm going to start by right here. And curl. Curl. There we go. Could probably make it a little bit bigger if we wanted to. A little bit more down here. There we go. Yeah. How's that look? Okay. Now, after we get his fluffy little body, we need to give him a tail. Don't forget his little tail. And then his legs, just draw a straight line, just like that. Give him a little hoof, they got little hoofs. That's one, we'll draw another one, same way, just like that. And we'll come up here and draw two more, line, Do another line, like that. Last one. And there we go. Just like that. You gotta get them all fluffy. Now, to finish off the fluffiness, we wanna give some little swirls in there to look, make it look like he has more fluffy fur. So kind of like little spiral things, kind of like this. Curly hair, little wool. There we go. And I'll do some over here. There we go. Now, it's like the others, you can kind of make it to where he's outside, maybe he's in a field. Draw this right here. Like he's in the, on a farm in the field. A little bit of grass. Lots of grass. Oh, I'm going to put a little cloud up here. Draw a line, and then, you know, and then have it to where it looks like the sun's coming out behind it. There we go. Yeah. So, I'm going to put another cloud over here. Make it look like his wool. There we go. Done. Now those are our four pictures. Now once you have them all four done, if you want to, you can always color them. You know, you got crayons, colored pencils or something around the house. Let's see, here's all of mine. Let's see. So I already kind of started my chameleon a minute ago, so. Okay, see, I got my colored pencils out. I can just more colorful if I want to. Like I said, we got the sun back here. I can color the sun. I can mix more leaves if I want to. So, but of course, when you're all done with all your pictures or in between them or something, you can always get your crayons out, your markers, colored pencils, whatever. And just start coloring them and make them all colorful. Or you can leave them like this. However, then once you're done, you can always hand them out as presents. Or you can hang them up somewhere around your house or your room. So, I hope you had fun drawing some animals with me. And I hope I will be able to do some more fun activities with you sometime soon. Have a good day. Bye.